Hi, this is Richard Byrne from freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a Google Calendar, share it, and embed it into your Blogger blog. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm already signed into a Google account. I just signed into a Google Apps account here. I'm going to create a new calendar by clicking on this little drop down menu next to My Calendars and clicking Create a New Calendar. Let's go ahead and call this one our feeding, napping, and walking schedule. I'm using my dog's Google account here. And we'll say these are the times that fill a dog's stomach. And now we can select the time zone by default. I'm in the Eastern time zone. Google knows where I am. Now let's go ahead and share this calendar with others. I'm going to make this calendar public for everyone to see the event details. If you want, you can also set it so that people only see if you're free or busy at a particular time. We can also invite people on an individual basis by simply entering their email addresses. and. Now Morrison is added. Let's go ahead and create the calendar. And this is going to make the events public to the world. Yes, I'm sure. And now my calendar is created. We see the new calendar listed here. Let's go ahead and add an event to the schedule. Let's say at 6 a.m. tomorrow, we are going to have breakfast. And it's going to go on the calendar of feeding, napping, and walking and create the event. If we want to add more details to this, let's just click on the title of the event. And here we can say where, perhaps in the kitchen. And we can add description. If I'm going to share this calendar with my dog sitter, for example, I might say 1.5 cups of dry food and one teaspoon of wet food. Now we can add an attachment to this. Now the attachment feature is really handy if you're sharing your calendar with your students because you can attach rubrics, hand, any kind of handout for your class. Let's go ahead and hit add attachment. We can pull things in from our Google Drive accounts or we can upload. Let's go ahead and upload a file. And we're going to pull in a picture here. Let's say from my desktop, a picture of Morrison and Max. Let's say uh, this collage. There we go. And upload. And now anyone who has access to this calendar will be able to access that attachment. We can add a reminder. Perhaps we set a pop-up reminder to, for ourselves to appear 10 minutes ahead of time or one hour ahead of time and we're going to show that to everyone with our default setting and save the event. Now we want to share this entire calendar in a blogger blog. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on the little drop down menu next to feeding napping schedule and let's hit calendar settings now let's go ahead and scroll down and we have an embed code here. We can copy and paste that embed code and put it into our blogger blog. By default it's a fairly large display so we might want to change it by clicking customize the color size and other options. And we can experiment with different sizes over here by changing the pixels and make it 400 by 300 pixels and we can get a preview of what it will look like we can choose to display the calendar title or not. We can turn navigation buttons on or off. We can change our time, turn our time zones on or off. And we can select if we want to display other calendars with this embed code. Perhaps we want to include US holidays. Now let's go ahead and copy that code. Now over here in Blogger, 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this into our layout. So I'm signed into the Blogger account. We're going to add a gadget. And we're going to scroll down and pull out the option for HTML slash JavaScript. And add that to our blog. Now I'll just paste in the code. Again, we can give it a title if we want to. We don't have to. Let's save it. Save the arrangement. And now let's view the blog. And when the blog loads, we can see our calendar is now displayed in the right hand side of our blog and it will always be displayed there. If we don't like that placement, we can go ahead and we can drag and drop that into a different part of the blog, perhaps put it down at the bottom. We can put it down in that bottom location and save the arrangement again. So that's a quick overview of how to create a Google Calendar and share it in Blogger.